Hey there, everybody. Thomas with the Base Camp Trading. It is uh, Wednesday, August 21st, and we're going to take a look here at crude oil, and we're going to do another series in the Fundamentals of Trading um, playlist here on the YouTube channel. So with that being said, today we're going to be talking about significance of trend lines and how we know when a trend line or a support or resistance level is more significant or less significant. Now, before I dive into detail on this, make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already done so and subscribe as well if you haven't already done so. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in here. So with crude or with regards to trend lines, I'm showing crude here because it's got a good trend line on it. One of the main things we want to watch for is the number of times a support or resistance level has been tested. Okay, so the more times a support resistance level has been tested and the market has pivoted off of it, gone down to and been rejected from it, the more significant that trend line is. Okay, so for example, here we can see Curls tagged it and pivoted off of it three times previously, and now it's hitting it the fourth time and it's respecting it. So when we finally do, if and when we finally do break out on this ascending channel here that we have in crude oil right now, we would expect it to follow through decently and have a, have a pretty good reaction on the breakout. So the biggest thing you want to keep in mind when you're looking at support resistance or you're looking at trend lines is the more times that that market has been, the trend line has been tested, the more significant it is. Now, the other thing we want to look at is when we're drawing trend lines or support resistance levels, we do not want to draw a trend line. For example, we wouldn't, we wouldn't want to draw a trend line that goes like, this necessarily because when the market is not when it's going around and pivoting away from that trend line so it's not actually going down and testing the trend line when it makes that pivot it's showing that it's not really respecting it we want to see whenever it's coming down or, or going up pivoting whenever it's making a new pivot it should get relatively close to the trend line so we don't want to have this big gap area like we do with these two previous pivots okay so that's why we wouldn't be drawing that trend line there but keep that in mind now the other thing in addition to that, that, we want to talk about here is when we look at a channel. For example, crude oil, once again, has an ascending channel. When we're drawing a channel, I always want to, I, I always draw the more significant trend line first, and then I draw a parallel. So you just make a parallel, which is what we did here. And that's how we got this upper trend line. And then we go and put that right on the tops. And if it still lines up, for example, uh, the parallel here has been hit one, two, three, four, five times now. We know that the market is following that channel it's trading inside of it, it's respecting it so the market's paying attention to where we are within the context of the channel okay now if we draw a parallel and we try to put it up there and we just see that it doesn't really line up it's not hitting more than one pivot uh perfectly then it's normally one we don't want to draw but as long as the market's hit it multiple times on the parallel then we'll leave that upper end of the channel on there as well but that's all i have for you for today I will see you in the next one. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. And until next time, everybody, happy trading.